Hey, what's up there, Earthmaster? Checking in here. It is September 22nd, 2017, 1.43 p.m. here on the West Coast. And just a short time ago, uh, I had an earthquake off the northwest corner of California. Uh, you can see the station right here in Mendocino, California, picking up a couple small earthquakes as we speak. Uh, this is coming off a 5.7 earthquake, which struck here a little bit short time ago here. Uh, and as I mentioned yesterday in one of my videos, we are looking for uh, some movement out here along the west coast. And this is pretty close to a 6. Um, all of the Pacific Ring of Fire um, on, on the western side and now the eastern side has been hit. Uh, quiet, the quiet zone at the time was California yesterday. That's why I mentioned a possible earthquake hitting the west coast region and of course now we see that happen there so kind of not surprised because it was a large scale movement along the entire pacific ring of fire the pacific plate you know but uh, once again with california only being in the quiet spot but now that's not the case so 5.7 striking off the northwest corner of california uh, and that's where i live but I did not feel it. It is a ways out there in the ocean. Um, I'll show you a, a map right here and give you some more details on this earthquake right here. You got Eureka right here on the northwest corner of California. And the epicenter being out there on the southern section of the San Juan de, uh, de Fuca plate. Or the Gorda escapement down here. Right on the southern section there. Roughly about 100... Uh, maybe we're looking at 150, 150 miles there off the coast at a depth of 9 kilometers. So quite a bit of... Uh, Earthquake activity still on the Pacific Plate. Um, looks like a couple people felt it. Um, let's see here. Let me go over here. Sorry, guys. I didn't feel this earthquake. You know, it's too far away. But uh, I seen it pop up on the USGS notification there, and um, unfortunately, I did not see it come into the live seismographs. But a couple of people felt it there in Eureka and Arcata. You know, this is a typical place for earthquakes to occur, but it's also, you know, ultimately um, somewhat associated with the Cascadia subduction zone and uh, all these fracture zones up here, which could be, which could, you know, cause a bigger earthquake uh, than the 5.7. So hopefully that this 5.7 was a good release and enough pressure being released along the Pacific Plate that we're not going to see any kind of increased earthquake activity up here. Or you can see it up here on the USGS map. There's also There was also a smaller earthquake, a 3.3 right here, striking um, a couple hours before this 5.7 that struck at 1950 UTC. So once again, that's right there on the southern section of the Juan de Fuca plate, or the uh, Gorda escapement area. Of course, no associated tsunami with this. But uh, it's something I am going to watch now more closely. I do have a live station up, or uh, yeah, live seismograph station pulled up right here, um, Mendocino, California, uh, which probably picked it up rather nicely um, had I been paying attention here to the live seismographs. But uh, unfortunately, had some stuff going on to where I did not see that come in. But uh, we'll keep a close eye on it. Looks like a couple small 
earthquakes coming in uh, into that region right now. This is very small ones, but uh, like I said, we'll keep an eye on it. You know, and looking at the overall picture, guys, over the past <clears throat> well couple days now, you can see all the continued large-scale movement along the western edge over here, the Pacific Plate with uh, numerous deep earthquakes all the way up here to the north to Japan region and now Northern California a couple little bit ago was uh, or last night it was down there in Baja Mexico region where a pretty good sized earthquake struck down there right there at the tip but um <clears throat> And of course now Northern California there so looks like a lot of the Pacific Plate has been hit uh, but is it over is the question and I I don't believe so I know Alaska's got a little bit of activity up there but now that's kind of like the quiet zone that's kind of sticking out towards you know kind of sticking out towards me a little bit but uh, either way, we're going to keep an eye on it. Uh, once again, 5.7 off the northwest corner of California. And uh, we'll keep you guys updated. And uh, I'll keep myself updated because this is hitting close to home right now. And, uh, and of course, any kind of activity up there along the Cascadia subduction zone with the San Andreas Fault and uh, all that complex faulting system there. Any kind of earthquake activity. I don't know. Is that good for it or is it bad for it? That's the... Uh, that's a question to be seen. So, All right, guys, uh, we'll catch up with you later and uh, update if we need to.